everyone. So I know I've been MIA for the last month. Um, we uh, went on a family vacation to San Antonio, Texas to see my baby brother graduate from college. Um, and while we were there, my grandmother got really sick and uh, ended up passing away. So I left straight from San Antonio to go to Washington State. And then um, after about five days after my grandma passed away, my stepbrother was killed in a motorcycle accident. So I have been grieving and doing nothing with my business or my videos or anything. And um, thankfully, um, I had done a lot of stuff before I left. And so I actually got another listing from um, flyers that I had sent out. So I did a uh, just sold flyers for a house and I put on there that I sold it in seven days for asking price um, and so I got a call while I was out of town from a lady on the same street who um, wanted was looking to list her house anyway so I just listed that one um, other than that not much has been going on um, the other listing I have right now I wish I had known some things before I agreed to take it Granted, beggars can't be choosers, so it, I'll just take it as a good learning opportunity. He only gave me two months to sell it, and he's very firm on the price, um, not letting me even drop like $50 to recirculate it through the system, which is irritating, and then it's, it's higher than it should be, um, and he won't let me do any open houses. So I have done flyers, I have boosted posts on Facebook, Today, I asked some people at my work um, some other ideas, and they gave me some other Facebook pages that I could post the house on for realtors um, to see because the area that we're in um, is mostly known for older people. It's usually a 55 plus neighborhood, but our little community inside this uh, city is not. It's a family community, but don't look over here uh, if they're families because the city is is uh, it's Sun City in Arizona anyway so uh, I'm gonna try that today I've only got one month left to sell it it's been on the market for 35 days um, anyway so we'll see um, it's a seller's market right now so I really hope that it will sell without being able to do anything else but We'll see. Anyway, the other house that I just listed, um, it's a smaller home in Peoria and it's um, listed right at a good price. Um, smaller lot, unfortunately. Uh, and I was able to do a mega open house on Saturday, got 10 groups through, and I got two leads from it. Um, and, but we had two groups that really, really liked the house. So I need to call those realtors today and um, see why there's no offer yet. Um, anyway, so it's been on the market for like four days. Three days? Three days. Maybe four. Anyway, and I'm planning another open house for Friday um, on that one. And then I plan on going door knocking this week. We'll see if that actually happens. Um, but I need to, I basically spent a month just not doing anything. Um, but that's gonna happen. So at least I had some things in place that, like the flyers that could still help to uh, to get business even while I was gone. Um, anyway, other than that, I, I went to my accountability training meeting today that my office puts on, which is good. Got me out of the house. Summer is hard, the kids are home. Um, but yeah. So I'm still doing it. <laughs> so I don't know how many months I am now. Four months in. I have two, two, one sold home, helped them buy a new home. Those are closed. And I've got two more listings. So four and four. It's pretty good. Uh, anyway, I'm at home. So yeah, hopefully I'll start doing this every week. 